Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're looking at a Thor Windsport, and this one's a 2023, but it's already used. This is a 29M. We have a new follower, and he was uh, debating, you know, going between the Fleetwood Flex, the Fleetwood Bounder, or a Windsport. And of course, he's kind of starting his journey, it sounds like, but uh, let's talk about it. And we'll go on the outside, and then we'll go on the inside, and I'll give you my impressions and things that I like and don't like. Now, to be honest, I have a pretty big bias against the Class A Thor lineup. Generally speaking, I, I just think that they build them pretty poorly. Um, now, every manufacturer cuts corners somewhere, right? And it's, it's a matter of figuring out, like, is that okay with me? Um, and it might be okay with you, but I'll let you know what my thoughts are. And now, I don't know what they're selling it for, but there is a price point where even this quality is totally okay. And there's a price point where it's not. And that is, of course, up to you. But looking at this guy, you may or may not like how the, uh, the Class A's look in general. But uh, this, this fake chrome, it doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. You might like it. Uh, but yeah, this does not, uh, <laughs> it does not quite cut it. Now, this guy is, uh, this guy's running 24570R19.5 uh, with the uh, Ford V8 chassis. And you know what? I actually don't know that this is on an F53 chassis. I actually don't know enough about this particular unit. Uh, but my instinct is to say this is probably, especially based on how low it's sitting to the ground and how little storage there is relative. Um, and when we get to the cargo carrying capacity, it might make more sense. But yeah, I don't know that this is this is actually on an F53 lineup. This might be on the stripped E450 chassis. Let's look at some of the storage though. Some of these bays are actually pretty pretty large. You got a generator built in. Rear, rear fiberglass cap, and I think this looks pretty decent. I don't know that it has to go in, right? That's kind of interesting, but uh, I like the LED lights. I like the uh, the window it does open up. I believe that's going to be your emergency egress window, and it's kind of interesting how they did the reverse lights. I kind of like that, actually. Uh, not, not too bad. Yeah, very interesting here. Come back here. I want to say this is an outdoor kitchen. And there we are. This is something that I couldn't give two hoots about myself. But you might like this. Aluminum. It's kind of nice. Little, little. This is weird how they did that, but uh, all right. And you have an outlet there. There's a little flex in that. That's a lot of flex right there, and you can actually see kind of what's going on behind it. But some of that may or may not matter to you. I do like that while I'm under here, it's kind of uh, it's got a little bit of a rain rain difference here but the thing about it is there's no there's no grill built in right so you can have your beers in here you might have like a napkins to wash your hands here but you can't grill here so does having the cover really matter not to me what do we have in here well all right a little bit of propane and this looks like it's going to be 26.2 gallons so a little uh, more than what we have on our Integra steam you have big old tires there okay I like the slam latch doors those are a little nice you have a TV kind of midway and then a big old arm <laughs> excuse me a big old awning here uh, with LED lights in the arms and it's it's actually uh, armless as in it's not there's no arms to like rack your your face on so that's really nice that's something but there's your fresh water connection there and your and the drain and here's something kind of interesting that is your fill port right so here's your fill port for potable water where where are your drain connections I think they're gonna be usually they're gonna be on the driver's side With a large shallow slide on this are they right under here no nope, they're not there where are your <laughs> where are your drain connections what in the world here's your hookup for 50 amp here ah here they are here are they. so they do tuck them up a little bit uh i would not at all call that insulated um ba -ba -ba. okay this is this is different to me because and again these are not very thick baggage doors but you know this fiberglass whatever and styrofoam um i find this kind of find this interesting because you have a city water connection right there you have a city water connection you have no no fill, no potable fill in here. Uh, no potable, that's gasoline down there. So your dump is on this side, right? But your fill is on this side. Does that make sense to you guys? 
That feels abnormal. I've seen a lot of rigs. That doesn't seem, um, hmm. Thor, uh, our rig has this. Thor, Thor units kind of have this nice handle. Now, if you're curious, why I say this might not be on an F53 chassis other than the smaller wheels and the lower uh, ride height is the uh, cargo carrying capacity on this unit, as you can see, uh, 464 pounds of water. It's <laughs> gonna subtract that from your cargo carrying capacity. 1,955 pounds, so under 2,000 pounds for this unit. Um, that seems pretty dang low. It could be on the like 18K chassis, uh, but boy, that's a, it's not a lot, right? It's not a lot. Uh, but it is more than what we uh, we have with our SC. You got a single step up, so one, two, three, four, five. But as you come up, of course, you, we can see all, uh, you know, all out there. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That, that blind is a little crooked. Uh, we're on the F53 chassis. We've got our living room here. We've got our kitchen on this side. And we've got the one bath in here with the shower. I'm going to talk about that shower because there's something there. Uh, uh, the bed's back here with the window pretty simple that bed is terrible but it's kind of a high up bed but we'll talk about that you got your kitchen and your fridge there you have a smaller fridge but let's uh let's take a look we'll start at the top so here at the front um i noticed it's a lot of a lot of tan like lighter tan but a lot of tan and uh and this i don't know if it's kind of it's, it's not trying to be carbon fiber but it's trying to have something just look at that look at that that's this is a Thor thing, right? This is, that's something. So, uh, <laughs> you know, do you want to put the money into that? Personally, I would. I would want to put a little bit more money into that uh, myself. Now, the, the the previous owner did upgrade. We've got a tire pressure monitoring system. Um, it does have the LCI electronic leveling, which is kind of nice. Uh, we've got mirror, heated mirrors. We've got a 12 volt outlet there and a plate. Oh, excuse me. We've got a USBs, uh, USB type A right there. We've got a place to put your cell phone. Uh, you do have a display here, which, let's see, it comes on, is it alive? Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so I meant to show you that, but, and this guy in particular has 3,388 miles, 3,388, and it's already a with a check engine sign, which I don't think the fuel inlet issue is that. So that's something to note. That's not necessarily Thor's fault, but it is our, mm, mm, mm. <sighs> I don't know. The, the A pillars out here are, uh, are pretty big. They're pretty dang big. And uh, the windows, uh, I wish there was a little something to grip on other than this, because that will break. That's just plastic. Yeah, this this is this is interesting, but I wish there was something here. Like, why is there such a large gap here? And you know, everything just feels. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. But yeah, I do like that they put a little storage up here that you can access anytime, and you can see all that good stuff. And they put the mirrors on the front. It kind of makes sense. Like, you can see all the crap that's falling down. And if we look over here, how do we do this? How do we do this? Is it lift up and back? Oh, that is surprisingly, you know, decently sturdy here but you're gonna have to scoot your chair all the way up there but yeah that's that's okay that's that's not terrible you could possibly put a laptop you know you got a little you put your pens or something here but uh with the 12 volt socket here an actual 12 volt um you know cigarette lighter style usbs nope not usbs but you could put you could put a little usb thing there so yeah three cup holders that are gonna be hard to access the step up here just bugs me step up here bugs me 500 pound capacity on the uh the drop down bunk here decently durable feeling the ugh, losing my goggles oof yeah it doesn't you can it doesn't feel like it's very it, there's a little hollow sound here which i don't i don't particularly care for you could actually probably pop the screws off of this guy and see in uh, into the, the ceiling, if that's something that matters to you, it would matter to me. The, the roof construction definitely matters to me. I don't know what this guy has going on, but they do give you a blank so you can at least pull air in and out through another fan if there is one. So that's kind of nice. Or you, you could, uh, hopefully it's, it's pre-wired for 12 volt. This is uh, atrocious. <laughs> this is bad. This is not comfortable at all. This is not something that, that, that like straight up, that is, that is terrible. If we look at the dinette here, 
this is also atrocious and i would not i would legitimately tell people they could not stay with me because this will turn into a bed i'm pretty sure that'll probably turn into a bed maybe it will not will it turn into a bed oh yeah yes that will turn into a bed uh, but if they had to sleep on these cushions that's a no-go but back to this terrible terrible deal now this sucks and if we're looking out here yeah the tv is in an okay position but i am I'm turning my head you know this way so not not great um if it if, if somebody was sitting here at the dinette and i'm trying to talk to them they're like back here like this i don't like that i don't like it but different strokes for different folks two air conditioners which is pretty good a little bit of storage adjustable shelving which is nice but <laughs> look at the look at this i don't this just feels i've been to the thor factory uh, one of their uh, class c factories rather i've been there multiple times and yeah that adds up i'm gonna be honest it adds up um yeah see and you can see how like not level that is that just feels it just doesn't feel hmm. if it's the right price who cares right but ugh, you know dual basin sink which is cool and a black sprayer even though they use silver out here contour it's a uh, this is a regular yeah regular uh, microwave oven and an oven oven and how do we open this it's got the clean seal as part of the camping world <laughs> difference every pre-owned rv gets a deep clean oh, i would sure freaking hope so guys uh, you know i could do with this for one person one person and a kiddo more than enough for two adults two kids you know that's that's gonna uh, that's up to you if we move on into the bathroom here a lot of flex in this wall i don't like that but you do have the touch uh touch sensitive controls here uh so there's that this is the world's worst fan hey thor i see why jaco's doing it like this um but yeah again we got a porcelain toilet though that might be something that camping world has actually upgraded uh interesting they did give you a metal sink which i like uh, the, the, the countertop is not, it is not a, uh, it's not the, the super nice Corian or whatever, but it's okay. If we look on the underside of this, you can see this is what Winnebago does. And this is not something I would want uh, getting wet. If this gets wet, it will just deteriorate. Uh, so don't get that wet. But again, sometimes you can't control the amount of moisture that's in the room or um, these things, shit happens, right? It happens. A little bit of storage down here. And some storage in here. Uh, you could possibly roll up a couple towels and put them in there. That just, hmm. I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't do it for me. So, here's the thing. This shower, this is a 24 by 30 or 24 by 36, I believe. This is not great. And uh, now if I stay like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite you guys into the shower with me. All right, here we are. I can stand like this, but I, my you can see my, my arms can be on my side, but they can't be, you know, anywhere else. So here I am now, if, if I'm here, this might not matter that much, but like coming up to like grab the soap or whatever, like this is tight. This is 24 by 36. So for just for some perspective, this may not matter for kiddos, right? Like this doesn't matter at all for kiddos, but uh, honestly, it's pretty small and the other thing is is this is a large gap for water you know because i'm doing this whole thing on accident sometimes right women you're gonna go like you're gonna do your whole thing there's a lot of places for the water to go uh that are unintended and so you can see they do caulk around here which is you know the least they can do they caulk around here um right so we've got that but look at all this exposed wood and we can see the previous owner probably took a shower a time or two um, and this is going to start to swell so and uh and I, I said exposed wood but i mean exposed material it's not actually wood it's not um something to consider i don't like that i don't the bedroom is pretty large i mean it's got a walk around bed with the slide out it's probably usable with the slide in from what i can see except for uh you know all this good stuff <sighs> um hmm. they do give you a strap for this uh for your table and all that and a little ladder and whatnot for the front bunk a little bit of storage big bed here and an emergency egress window 
which is pretty nice. No complaints there. Oof. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. There we go. Um, and unlike unlike our uh, our Jayco, they actually did line. They they give you the valances on the side. And uh, if you ask why that matters, is because. When the valance comes down here, and this one's actually, you can still see a lot of light. So imagine that at night, people can see you. But they can't see sideways, right? So they could not be on the outside here looking in because there's a gap in the in the shade there, looking at this and then making eye contact with you. And we all know that we do, some of us, some of us like to wear less clothing in the, at the, in the evening, right? How many of your neighbors need to know about it? I get a little chilly, so I prefer to wear the clothing, but some of you guys are you get a little weird about it. <laughs> Anyways, this is a big fail for me. I, I There's nothing in here that I go, wow, that's really nice. Not a single thing. So, uh, but what are your guys' thoughts? Maybe you like it. I don't, but maybe you do. What is it? Leave it down in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.